Well, antimicrobial stewardship programs are programs that are intended to help the prescribers to do their work better. Prescribing antibiotic is really difficult. Most specialists are specialists in their field, but not specialists in prescribing antibiotics. So it's clearly that they need some help and some resources to do that work better. So stewardship programs are aimed to do that by providing guidance, but also providing uh, uh, audits and, and consultation with specialists whenever they need. And with all those activities together, we can improve antibiotic uh, prescribing very much. Well, uh, research in antimicrobial resistance and the solution for resistance have to be addressed from different perspectives. We need the one health perspective, so animals and persons and, and the environment. And from the human medicine perspective, we need to understand the basics of resistance, what are the problems with the bacteria that get resistant, and also we need to understand what happens with the patient. So we need the both views, the views of the clinical microbiologist to understand better what is the problem with the bacteria and antibiotic, and the, uh, and the view of the infectious disease clinicians who can develop the research in clinical trials and in development of new drugs in the patients. Well, uh, developing new drugs uh, against antibiotics and against bacteria is very difficult. And it's difficult because the main uh, targets for treatment have already been discovered. So uh, bacteria become resistant to those antibiotics and finding new targets is really difficult. Uh, the other problem is that there's not been an important uh, uh, economical funding for finding new antibiotics. The industry do not find this area particularly interesting to develop new drugs, so we need new models for, for that. We need a public and private partnership to develop new antibiotics probably and to uh, raise the awareness and the needs for new antibiotics. And we also probably need models of uh, economical uh, uh, rewarding of, of, of new antibiotics. Well, I think politicians need to understand that antibiotic resistance is a huge public health problem and will get worse over the years if we don't change some uh, uh, important aspects. They need to understand that we need funds to change what is happening, uh, to address the problem of antibiotic use in humans in the veterinary area and in agriculture, to uh, fund antibiotic stewardship programs and to fund research in what we need to find new targets and then how can we apply these new potential drugs to patients in the shorter period of time as possible. Well, the working group was trying to uh, uh, understand which were the, the bacteria and the resistant mechanism that were most important in terms of finding new drugs against them. Uh, uh, and then there was a consensus document uh, in which different specialists uh, all over the world were participated to try to grade which were the, the priorities in research in the area of the microbial resistance. So we could find which were the most important pathogen in terms of the resistance, but also in the health problems that they cause. And with that information, I think this is very important for funding activities, and for companies to see where there, there is a real medical need and an urgent medical need to find new antibiotics. It is very important to understand that resistance or infection do not understand borders. So any activity that is done in a specific country is probably useless if it's not coordinated with activities that are done in the other countries. So we need to homogenize our targets, we need to homogenize our activities and we need to homogenize probably as well the resources that we need to do that. So I think that this initiative, which is trying to homogenize the national plans and have similar targets, are absolutely crucial to undercome the problem. I think that public awareness is quite heterogeneous across the world. There are areas where uh, uh, the population is probably more uh, aware about the problem of antibiotic use and resistance. In other areas, this is not like that. So we need to clearly increase that awareness. We need people to, uh, to know what is an antibiotic and what is not antibiotic. Uh, we need people to understand that uh, the most common infections, which are viral infections, are not treated with antibiotics, so they should not be asking for them. And always, also we would like people to uh, ask their doctors, why are you prescribing me antibiotics? Is it really necessary for me to, to be cured of that? So we need both the training of the doctors, but also 
the understanding of the population that antibiotics are very useful when they, we need them and absolutely harmful when they were not needed. Well, by nature I'm optimistic and I think that all the activities and all the awareness that we're raising for the last year will finally have some impact. Uh, it probably will be heterogeneous, so we will have more impact in areas where the activities are implemented with more intensely and with more resources. But I do think we can really change that and we can really uh, have a situation in which resistance will exist, but we will have enough antibiotics and enough infection control measures to overcome the problem.